Right, for more on this trade, and we'll talk a couple other things in terms of the association. NBA writer Brad Bakken joining me here. So, look, Tobias Harris is, is a good player, yeah. having a career year for him, and already changing teams once again. Yeah. Part of the Blake Griffith deal that sent him from Detroit to LAC, now LAC to Philly. What's your understanding of how it all went down? Look, when Jimmy Butler was traded earlier this season to the Sixers, I was talking to a couple of scouts about how he might or might not fit alongside Ben Simmons. And in those conversations, one of the scouts said to me, you know who would be a great fit for the Sixers? Tobias Harris. And this was just mentioned randomly. And here we are with Harris headed to Philly. And he's right. It is an absolutely spectacular fit in the sense that Harris can operate as a secondary playmaker. He's not a guy like Butler and Simmons who needs the ball to be at their best. He's a floor spacer, a 42% three-point shooter. The Sixers are in dire need of shooting and floor spacing. And he also addresses uh, their depth concerns. Now, it's a three-for-three three swap, so they don't get an extra player back. But what they can do is lineup versatility. Given that Harris can operate, again, as a secondary playmaker, he can play when Simmons is out of the game and Butler's handling the ball. He can play alongside Simmons, and Redick is now not the only floor spacer. And his size, six foot eight, he can play across the spectrum on the perimeter, and that is going to allow Brett Brown to maybe trim his bench by one guy and be able to play three of his best players at all times. This is now probably the best starting lineup top to bottom in the Eastern Conference. Really a spectacular fit. They gave up a lot for it. But in the near term, we'll see if they can re-sign Harris and or Butler. But in the near term, this is a big fit. So as we take a look at this projected lineup, again, I mentioned Harris uh, still looks like he fits in with the Clipper uniform there. But the 20.9, obviously he's not going to reach 21 again. Again, how do you see that fitting out? And what else does he lose there in terms of the other stats? Well, look, he's not going to lose much. He just, he just, it's a shooting is the key thing. I mean, he's a three, three-point shooter, 42% from downtown, and that's what the Sixers need. So, again, right now at the trade deadline, whether it be the trade, and I don't think the Sixers are done. From people I talk to in the league, they're still going to be active in the buyout market or at least attempt to be, but they have to have shooting. They have to add depth. Now, again, three-for-three three trade, they don't add a depth in terms of a body, but that lineup versatility that Harris brings to Brett Brown uh, does address it to some degree.